Hello everyone, my name is Willie Reed, I don't care what my name is. So, I just came out from watching the James Bond movie and the uh, Penis movie, and I decided I'm going to review both of them, and because I'm going to be busy all day with other things, I'm not going to have time to get back home and review them, so I'm just going to do it like this, using my phone. So, anyways, let's start off with the first, uh, with the first movie, the James Bond movie, which... The story for it is not bad. Uh, there is some similarities between this story and the Mission Impossible Rogue Nation story, but it's still not bad. Um, the only thing is, I have a problem. I think the only flaw I see is it's a basic James Bond formula. I mean, it's not really that interesting. I mean, the one from Skyfall was actually probably the better one. Casino Royale, again, was probably better. But, again, the story is not bad. Um, it's your basic formula, which is not a bad thing, but it's definitely one I'm not very interested in. What about the characters? Were they good? Yeah, I mean, the actor who plays James Bond, he's a great James Bond. Uh, he plays a great. He plays the role so well. He's probably the best James Bond. Um, the actress the the love interest she's not bad either but again she James Bond has been with so many women he probably won't end up with her either the actress who plays M I love her she's a great actress and she plays her role as M so well and it's definitely someone you don't want to mess with the the villains for this movie are not that good I mean the villain from Skyfall was probably better and the same can be said about the one from Casino Royale, so, again, the villains, they're not that bad, but are not that memorable, they, they probably won't be that memorable, uh, the special effects were actually a little better than the last movie, a little bit, they were actually, visually, it's a, it's a much better than the, uh, than some of the other James Bond movie, but, even with the visual effects and the special effects, it's still not that great of a James Bond movie, but I will say it's not terrible, it's not bad, but it's definitely not one of the best James Bond movies, so just throwing it out there. If you guys still want to check it out, I would recommend checking it out. If you're a James Bond fan, go check it out. Okay, what about the Peanuts movie? How was that? I love it. I love this movie. You know what? I have been waiting for this movie to come out ever since we saw the first trailer. So I've been looking forward to it, and I'm very happy how well this went. The story for this is pretty much what we got from the trailer. Charlie Brown is sick of being a loser and is trying to be a somebody and trying to get the attention of the new girl. And he tries whatever he could with the help of Snoopy. And it's a good story, you know. It's the underdog trying to show everybody what he can do, and... It's not bad. And I really do feel bad for Charlie Brown. I mean, everybody, not all of the kids, you know, see him as, uh, as a popular guy. And they just see him as, you know, he's pretty much a, um, a loser, an outcast. But once, but he really does try. And I gotta love him for that. I love how they try to help. I, in the story, he's trying his best. And it definitely pays off at the end. So, I love the story. It's definitely one you're probably going to love, especially if your kids, uh, your kids will probably like this story too. Uh, what about the characters? Again, I love the voice actors who play all these characters, all these memorable characters that we knew from uh, our childhood. And I especially love Snoopy. He is my favorite. Oh, I love Snoopy. He is funny. He is, you know, he's very talented. And man... He's probably the best part of the movie. I mean, Charlie Brown and the other kids are all pretty good act, all pretty good in the movie too. But I love Snoopy. He's the best one from the movie, and yeah, I don't know anybody who doesn't love him. He's a great dog. It's a shame he's not real, but I still love him. All right, what about the animation? Um, the animation for this is actually pretty good. I love how the animation how the animation looks. Uh, especially how they're using the whole, uh, the all uh, computer animation, which is well done in this movie. I don't know if this movie would have held up if it was done the same way they did with the cartoons. So, um, I'm happy how well the animation looks. It is beautiful. It's a, 
the animation looks great. Uh, is there anything flaw, any flaws with this movie? Um, not that I can think of. Uh, the story is pretty much, you, you already know what's going to happen in the end, so it's pretty basic. Um, the characters, again, I didn't, I didn't mind them all. They actually played their roles well, and it definitely does remind me a lot of the act of the characters from back then when I saw the show as a kid. Uh, the animation, again, is not bad, and it did well, so there really isn't any flaws. And if you guys want to check this movie out, I would recommend checking it out. It is a fun movie, it's enjoyable, and both kids and adults will definitely love this. Especially the adults who are fans of the old show and the old comic strips, so yeah, I would recommend checking it out. So if you guys have a different opinion about these two movies that I mentioned, leave some comments below, let me know what you think, and I'll be here next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Take care, see you next time.